Hey guys, welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Star Fox Assault, made by Namco for the GameCube. And this is one Star Fox game that kind of flew under the radar for a lot of people. Usually when you think of the GameCube Star Fox, a lot of people go straight to adventures and they don't even know about this game. At least people I've talked to. But it's kind of unfortunate because, well, like any Star Fox game, this one has its flaws for sure. Um, the one thing that I find to be problematic, but it's really not that big of a deal, is the sound design. So especially the character dialogue, it sounds like they're speaking very close to a microphone that has its gain cranked all the way up. I don't know, there's just something a little off about that quality of sound. But otherwise, this is a really good Star Fox game, actually. It's one of the best. It's probably behind Star Fox 64 and Zero and the Super Nintendo game, the original, depending on how you feel about that. If Because, I don't know, those games are so old and that... 2D, 3D stuff kind of isn't for everybody, but Star Fox is ready for takeoff. I haven't played this game in forever. I don't remember it, and I remember it being a little bit tricky in spots. But uh, I should have a 100% file here. 2004, 2005, wow. I was still in high school. That's insane. I like the subtle music here, though. I guess that's it. Well, all right, let's get started. There's versus mode too. That's it's so good. Dude. Well, we're gonna do single mode anyway. So there's my old file. I'm curious. I got 10 out of 10 on every difficulty. Yeah, I can't continue. I can start a new story, but I don't know if that deletes. My total high score was 35,000. I don't know if that's good. Probably not. I had trouble with this game. Survival mode is pretty interesting, but we gotta create a new file. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't think I have to, but I'm going to. And you know what? I'm gonna be a rebel and name myself Slippy, because I like Slippy Toad, man. And you're gonna see several instances, wow, several instances in this game that prime the Star Fox series for all the potential that it never utilizes, for lack of a better thing. I didn't realize there was so many control options. Sure, inverted controls is fine. Uh, I don't know about for on foot. Well, there might be our first instance of how this game can be a little weird. Between Arwing, Landmaster, and On Foot, the controls change a lot, which can be stupid. I'm going to play on Bronze because it's been forever, and I remember I had the hardest time on Gold anyway. And I could maybe do Silver, but we're doing Bronze. Now, get ready for that weird dialogue like I was saying. The sound design for the speech is weird. And apparently it's in one ear. Or they're utilizing stereo sound. That's interesting. Yes! Here we come! Look at that great fox, man. It looks pretty cool in this game. Command, this is our fox team. Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes! And that look at Slippy. I love Slip! Team Star Fox, ready for duty. Ah, leave these losers to the pros. We'll beat them in no time. No line from Crystal or Falco? Yeah, this game takes place immediately, well, one year after the events of Star Fox Adventure, so Crystal is part of the Star Fox team. And that's pretty cool. Once again, this game has the privilege of being one of the only Star Fox games to advance the storyline. Well, Fox, looks like we're not too late. Yep, of course, General. Yep. It's just so crazy. I can't believe Andros had so darn many troops left behind. They're almost all common scum, in it for the money. They're quite dedicated for a bunch of hired guns. The leader of this rebellion is none other than Oikening. Okay, I see now. So we're here because... We're here because we gotta put this creep on ice. Yes, you must take him down. I'm counting on you. Now get prepped and go. Let's go, team. 
All right. I actually really like Slippy's voice in this game. I think out of all the Star Fox games, well, no, Zero has the best Slippy voice. This is awesome, too. I, I just love this cutscene so much. Any shot of them jumping in the R wings just, you know, well, it just gets me excited, man. Slippy falling behind as usual. I like how Slippy jumps in the thing. This is going to be all about Slippy. This is not Star Fox. This is Star Slippy. The only person in the world to be a Slippy fan. <laughs> what is that? Your little fingerprint key code? Line, green. Like an ease, no pushover. So be careful out there. Peppy's an old man lounging. That's so cool, man. Way to go, Namco, for doing something awesome with Star Fox. What an intro. I love it. I wish... This, there's so much opportunity for the next Star Fox game here. Like the ability to play as any pilot. Swap with a button press. Avoid your modest fire. Aim for Oikini's flagship. Let's do it! Here we go! Of course he does. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Where are you, Slip? I got you. Yes. Thanks, Fox. I thought I was a goner. Nah, you're better than that. Oh man, I gotta get used to this. Andros's ships are being destroyed one after the other. We can't give up now. Andros's fleet is dead. They're everywhere. Oh, here we go. Falco and Slippy. Yeah. Got that group bonus. See, this is good. There's so much dialogue between the characters. Like, I haven't even had a moment to speak. That's what's going to make Let's Playing this hard. Like, Star Fox really shouldn't have any commentary on it, because there's just so much commentary going on, and my voice is just going to interrupt it, to the dismay of probably a lot of people. But, yeah. The GameCube controller's a little weird. Yeah, gotta use that bomb. See, when you destroy a whole wave, you get a huge hit bonus. What beam? He's already dead. Not do a barrel roll? Peppy has kind of simmered down in old age. Hey, thanks, Slippy. I didn't need it, though. This is just a really good intro to the game. It's The stages of this game are a lot longer than anything in, like, Star Fox 64 or anything either. Like that. But yeah, the combat of this game feels kind of clunky compared to Star Fox 64. But it works, you get used to it. Like, right now, I wasn't sure. It took me a while to finally put this disc Fox, in the system. This. Thanks, Falco. But when I finally did, and I got through the menu, and was like, am I really gonna let's play this? Like, I, as soon as I got to this level and kind of got the feel for it again, I was like, wait, actually, this is actually kind of cool. Nah, I'm saving it, Slip. You gotta save those bombs. You don't start out with three like in Star Fox 64. I only had that one Falco gave me. See, there's a group bonus. Starbox, eh? Ah, they butchered Andrew's voice, though. Andrew Oikony. His voice is atrocious in this. Luckily, it's only for this first mission, and then he's gone. Well, yeah. If you've never seen this game before, I hope you enjoy the ride. It's kind of a lot of fun. It's cringy, though. There is some really cringy dialogue. Oh, here we go, group bonus! Ah, oh, I was a little bit early. No, you're not gonna handle anything. Shut up, boy, to me. Weird, Star Fox! See, group bonus, hit plus 10. But if you get him in a charge shot, you also get a B bonus. Which is another, like, plus 10 on top of it. Let's do it! Now, here we go. It's got phases. This was, like, I think the first Star Fox... Traditional Star Fox to introduce phases like this. Keep moving. Follow him into the atmosphere. Adjust G diffuser system output. Let's yeah, go. spaceship stuff. Let's do it. So yeah, we got to burn through the atmosphere. Kind of like in Star Fox Zero, but not as cool. Still pretty cool, though. 
like and he seems to have fled, but he may be lying in wait for us. You see what I, I mean? To proceed with caution. About the voices. Worrying a bit much, are you grabs? It's like they're speaking Let's take it in low. Really close to a speaker or something. I don't know. This is so cool. What a shot. What a display of GameCube capabilities there. In a game that doesn't even use its graphics to really max potential. Where'd that crazed chimp oikity go? Rob, find that black-hearted ape. Black-hearted ape. This is so cool, man. I love this. I love going from space. The planet levels are always the best in Star Fox games. The space stuff is well and good itself, but you need a break from it, and that's Star Fox Zero's problem. I got you. Yeah, group bonus. That G bonus. Boost. I gotta use break to get more hit points. Or more hits, not hit points. What are these little tanks? Oh, I want that. Hyper lasers. Yes. Also, the music is all orchestrated, which is awesome. Enemy base located directly ahead. Oikini is there as well. Alright. This time we take that ape down. Take him down. Fox's voice isn't so bad in this either. I kinda like it. I like all the voice actors Fox, in this game. This? That makes us even. Another G bonus wait. As soon as this door opens, I'm going to get a huge bonus. Watch this. Yeah! See, there's that B bonus. See, that was like a hit plus 20 bonus. you got to try to do that a lot, but I don't know this game very well. This is my first time playing since I don't even know. Slippy! Maybe not this level so much, but you're going to see instances where... My biggest idea for this franchise that makes no sense that they haven't done this yet. So many other games utilize the idea of pressing a D-pad direction to switch between teammates. When you have a team of four, like Ninja Turtles, or even Final Fantasy VII Remake, there's, that's a huge feature of the gameplay of that. I want those points, Crystal! Yeah, you work as a team. Ah, she got one. All right, well, I'll give it to you. But yeah, there are... When you see some of the later stages of this game, it's all primed for that feature, to be able to swap between the four teammates and utilize them strategically to beat a boss or... Yeah, to beat a boss or really do anything, the problem is there, it's way too easy. It's not The rest of it's not built around that concept. But it could be! Oh, I just can't wait to bury you in the ground. What are you up to? Careful, Fox. You never know what a cornered beast might do. A cornered beast? Oikony? You gotta be kidding me. Here comes Andros Wannabe. Slippy right on that. There's the wannabe line. I knew it was coming. You have the worst voice in all of video game history. Even worse than Slippy. Oh, it's gonna be over real soon because you need to stop telling. <laughs> See how that sound is design? All I hear is whatever, it's done. He kind of sounds like the Wicked Witch of the West. And you're done, thank God. You need your Star Fox 64 voice. Reinforcements? That doesn't look friendly. It's strange thought patterns. No, it can't be. 
Aperoid. 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 Jeez, Rob. Aperoid. There's no time to hesitate. Return fire. And here is the main story plot of this game. The first encounter. Of course it's working. So yeah, this whole game is revolved around these Aperoids, as we are about to learn. There's no sense talking about it. The game tells you like any good story. Alright. There is a way to damage him while he's doing that. That pink spot is his weak point, but I can't seem to get the cursor up there. Star Fox Zero, see? That's where that separate thing, Miyamoto was onto something. You can feel it and I can see it. So much for your telepathic skills there, Crystal, you're done. Here you go, first mission is beaten. Mission complete. There's no mission accomplished in this, I don't think. It's all mission complete. Usually accomplished is the better thing. Get that. Really? <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> so fast on that too. Whoa, we got company. Fox, grab that thing and get out of there. And there you go. That is the first level of this game. We're just scratching the surface on this. Did I get the bronze medal at least? Yes, I did. Oh wow. Not a bad start. Good work, team. Come on up to the briefing room. All right, well, thanks for watching, you guys. I think I'm going to cut it off there, and next time we will probably do more than one mission, but just because of the intro and stuff. So I hope you stick around and enjoy this game, and I'll see you next time.